I got your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. He may not be making music, but he's making stacks. Soldier Boy, who's managed to stay current without any new hits, was on Instagram Live from what looked like a private train car flashing stacks of cash. Um, but here's the best part. He broke down his finances and claimed that he makes at least $100,000 a day. He said that he also made between two to three million dollars in a month and then changed his statement to say that he makes closer to seven million dollars in a month. Obviously, the math does not add up, um, especially if you're making $100,000 a day. But, you know, uh, it's hard to argue with someone who's flashing stacks of uh, $100,000 bills um, with tens of thousands of dollars in their hand, right? I mean, it's doubtful that we'll actually ever really know how much money Soldier Boy is making per day or month. Um, and, you know, he has been caught making quite a few untrue statements that, uh, for example, he owns the video game company Atari. That was not true. Um, but one thing we do know is true. He definitely knows how to stay trending. No hits, but we're still talking about Soldier Boy. Uh, this is really cool. The cocaine hippos. Remember the ones that were owned by Pablo Escobar? They have been legally recognized as people in the United States. The cocaine hippos have been recognized in the U.S. to prevent them from being killed. Now, the story goes back with the cocaine hippos. It starts back in the 80s when Escobar bought several of these um, animals to Colombia in hopes of forming his own private zoo. Now, after his death in 1993, they were brought to the Magdalena River. And since then, they have grown from a population of 4 to 80, which has raised many, many environmental concerns. They're very invasive. But now that they've been recognized as people, they cannot be killed. Um, and they cannot be euthanized or removed, which is a big win for animal rights activists because there's no precedent for animals having legal standings to enforce their own rights. So with this now, you are not allowed to kill the hippos. Um, the controversy surrounding Dave Chappelle's comedy special, The Closer, continues. Oh, yes. And Chappelle has laid out some terms for his discussion with the LGBTQ community as well as Netflix employees. Remember he said he was willing to speak with them? Well... He's now put his conditions together. The first condition is anyone who wants to speak to Chappelle has to watch the closer from start to finish. The second, the discussion has to take place at a time and place of Dave Chappelle's choosing. And third, <laughs> whoever wants to speak to him has to admit that Hannah Gadsby, the Australian comedian who tore Dave Chappelle and Netflix apart in response to the closer, is not funny. You have to admit that Hannah is not funny. Now, of course, the third's going to definitely cause even more controversy. I love Chappelle. Oh, I love him. But, you know, this is just an example of his response to the entire situation. He pretty much just does not care. Um, and whether or not he actually sits down with any Netflix employees is yet to be seen. But it's pretty doubtful that it's going to happen when you have a condition that says, admit this person who posted mean things about me is not funny. Oh, yeah. You got to have some humor in it, right? And that is your juicy entertainment news for Tuesday. Lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96.